Hello everybody and welcome back to more Wind Waker HD. It is nighttime on Winfa Island. I should mention I went to Beetle and bought three more things of bait just in case we ever need it. I kind of was looking over the map and seeing how much bait we need. So I've got three things of bait. To start things off, we're gonna go talk to this lady here. Just, just, take off, go away. I'll find be that way. And she starts running. And our goal is to kind of like uh, follow her while at the same time remain hidden. So, just gonna kind of be sneaky link for now. Go on, do it. Uh, something else I want to pull out as necessary is this. Oh, be an extra sneaky, eh? All right, hope you guys had a fantastic day today, though. Fortunately, we got to be a little sneaky. Oh, yeah, so I mentioned the bait thing, so my rupee count looks a little weird. Uh, <laughs> that's why. Give me some money. Where'd she go? She's right there. All right, come on. Who's that? Man, I ain't do nothing. Was I like too close? No, she's still there. Okay, okay, okay. We're still following. We're still following. You can't trick me. I'm too sticky. I should go into the gas shop. Like, I gotta take a photo. Maybe? I don't know. I always take a photo. For memory's sake. Who's there? Hello? I don't know where she went. Just trying to yoink some money from here. Alright, well, on top of that, I guess we got a photo of that. Let me go back in here. Hello, auction guy. I'm gonna go back out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back later auction guy uh hello can i show her a photo no. you don't want to look at my beautiful photo i caught of you stealing they gotta be more sneaky all right i'll see you guys when we get back to the vault i guess there we go. We finally snuck up on her. You, you stuttered me. Well, well, what do you want? Oh, my heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are, anyway? An ally of justice. A what? <laughs> An ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little... The... You... I don't know. In this town, did you know that? <laughs> From one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last droopy in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open-air shop. So as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? 
What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiable life? Uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't figure out that slob Maggie. Who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich Maggie of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Very well. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over, over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. Ta-da! We get an empty bottle! <laughs> Yay! Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. Goodbye, remember, stealing is wrong. All right, so if we do all that stuff, we get a nice little bottle. And I don't think you guys want to know how long it took me to actually get that. <laughs> I did do it. That's all that matters. All right, let's head in here and do some auction stuff. And now here again. Yes, I would like to participate in auction. I already know the rules. All right, let's do some auctioning. There are a lot of stuff in the auction house that I pretty much want. Um, I know there's a treasure chart, there's a heart piece and all this good stuff. Oh, we're starting off with the heart piece, all right. Oh boy, here we go. Auction will begin at 80 rupees. And... Begin! And mash the A button, let's go! I don't know how this works. All right, so I'll see you guys whenever I'm done doing the, uh, the uh, auction for the heart piece. And sold! Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous piece of heart goes to. We'll go for the price of 132 rupees. Dear me, let me just say, congratulations. Ta-da, we got a piece of art. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid was bidding machine right up to the end. But now then, on to business. For the lucky ones out there, and yes, also for you not-so-lucky ones, let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. All right, there's our first auction win. We got our piece of heart. Now we got to go back in there and do another auction <laughs> for a uh, treasure chart. So uh, here we go. I'll meet you guys... Uh, Probably towards the end of the auction, whenever I win it. Again, well, hopefully we get the uh, item we want. Alright, what item are we getting this time, buddy? It's a treasure chart! 60 rupees, and... Begin! All right, I'll meet you guys whenever we're done with the bidding for this uh, treasure chart. 
And sold! Here ends the auction. Science Fabulous' treasure chart goes to Hugo for the price of 99 rupees. Dear me. Let me just say congratulations. That treasure chart. Nice. Whoopee. All right. Now we have to do, I think we have to do the auction one one final time. So here we go back inside. Yes, I would like to do one more auction, my friend, and I believe it is the last item you technically have for me. All right, let's go. Yes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We've read this text many times. This is a fabulous treasure chart. And I do not lie. The auction begin at five rupees. Yes, this one's only worth five rupees. And begin. Now, nah, there's tradition with the auction. I will meet you guys when I have finished bidding this treasure chart. And sold. Here ends the auction. Yes. Somehow the price went all the way up to 92 rupees. And those those goons I'm auctioning are ridiculous. But we did get another treasure chart and we had the rupees to spend for it. So there we go. All right. I believe that's everything we want here at the auction. So we're pretty much done with the auction. We got a heart piece, couple treasure charts, and a bunch of good stuff. So the next thing we're going to do is we need a picture of the full moon. If you know what quest that's for, I'll show you guys in a minute, but we need to get a full moon. So we're gonna play the uh, song of passing essentially until we get a full moon. So I'll see you guys then. All right, welcome back everybody. It is now finally, oh, by the way, we also have mail. But uh, we finally have a full moon. And if we go over here and we take a photo of it. A nice little zoom in action. There we go. Keep this photo, yes. All right, let's also check what we got in the mailbox. Good evening, that is for Kuko. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Have you been, how have you been, big brother? I'm here at the pirate ship writing this letter. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're actually, they're all actually nice for pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko is kind of weird, and Mako is, is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses. So I do that a lot, hee <laughs> hee. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores, and they occasionally paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Good luck. Arrow. And we get Spirit Ruby. Let's go. Money. Woo. All right. Let's change it back to daytime. Because I think the, everything else that we really need to do here is all going to be during day. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, back to daytime. And with that, we can talk to this guy start things off nobody understands how i feel do me a favor beat it what a jerk how did he manage that right under my nose but i guess he is an all not, all right guy you pesky little brat nobody understands how i feel do you hear me nobody not you not anybody wait are you trying to tell me that you do understand how i feel completely oh really then how about a little test to see if you really do. I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round, pale thing you can think of and show it to me. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. 
and I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the pictograph. All right, luckily we took a photo. Show him this. Oh, that's right. That certainly is the pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me, the full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can still find peace when I gaze at the timeless moon. And of all her phases, I particularly love gazing at the full moon. I know I caused you a lot of trouble, but thanks. I really mean it. I want you to have this for all your efforts. Just a little reward for easing the pain of this troubled heart. And we get a treasure chart. This supposedly has a spot on it that marks where some sunken treasure lies. I don't have a boat, so I can't leave this island to go look for it anyway. Tonight, I'll be asking the nice guy to help you find the treasure. Best of luck. Thanks, man. All right, now we've finished that, that side quest. Fairly simple. Let's, let's go hand in all the joy pendants we've collected for like our journey so far. Hello. What can I do for you on this fine day? When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me someday. Oh, I got to hand it. I think I hand them to the the killer bees first, actually. Uh, let's go to hand them to, one to them. Hello. Hey, sounds like you apologize. Teach for us. You think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Let me stupid with the killer bees. A teacher's pets. Hmm, to pendants. I think we've read all this before, right? Do I think give it to them? I assume I just pull it out, right? Do you want it? No. Do I give it to her? We'll find out who we give this to. Hello! My dear, that's a joy pendant. Tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no. I insist, only one. To tell the truth, I'd actually like about twenty of them, but that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I have to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Come on, 20 more rupees. Let's go. And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think we're going to get just ahead of the 20. There you go. <gasps> My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 58? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Though your teacher is very impressed by your efforts. Little dear, my whole body is numb with a thrill of excitement. But this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them. Thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promised, I'll reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. And we get the cabana deed. Dum da dum. You see, although I am but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in the tropical oasis down south. But lately, I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. <laughs> It's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Gapping? I don't know. <laughs> now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can't just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little island near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. All right. Now that we've turned in those joy pendants, and now we have the cabana deed. 
Let us head on to the next thing I really want to take care of. But, uh, unfortunately, we can't exactly do it right now. I don't know if we have enough money to do it. So what we're going to go do is just make sure we... Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Get out of here. <laughs> just pull out your sword, Ling. No, no one will ever find us. No, but uh, what I want to do is go to uh, our next main destination that we need to head to. Which is out to sea. There is still more stuff to be done here. Um, unfortunately, there's other stuff that I need to take care of real quick before I finish off everything in this area. So what we're going to do, I'll show you guys on the map. We're going to head uh, over here to this island, the Spectacle Island. Um, and I will see you guys when we reach our destination. Ah, uh, here we are at our destination. It's the one island to the left, so it's <laughs> it's not that far away. But uh, there is a nice fun mini game here, which there is like a glitched way to do this mini game. And if you know it, you know it. Uh, I will not be doing any uh, like super cheesy glitches like that, but we will do this the authentic way. Uh, first off, break all the pots and get some money. Uh, let's head on up here. Hello again, friend. I don't know if it's like his brother or something. Ah. Oh, never mind. My mistake. Yeah, yes. Yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Want to try? You bet. All right. Now then. Ahem. Oh, so you're a little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hotshot, yeah? And you say this knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room. Or oh, this this should be funny. Fine then, hotshot. If you can manage to sink the five pirate ships you see off on the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with the cannon, you shrimpy little landlubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels, and you <laughs> get only ten shots, you hear me? You can move your cannon with buttons and fire. You got it, shrimp? I got it. If you manage to sink all five power ships, we'll give you all the treasure we've stolen up until now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You'll need it, yeah? All right, here we go. So this game isn't too bad. I remember the... Uh... <laughs> exactly the stuff for this, but... Uh, hopefully I can get them all in like first shots There we go third shot is way past it All right, go to no go to no All right, so I did this one and we're going way past it again About 20 is 20 good 20 is perfect all right, let's go to 18 and kaboom all five pirate ships down wow nice shooting we won't hand over our priceless treasure so easily yeah miss hey miss oh gosh <laughs> Conso, you're, you're at least an honorary member of my family are you not so act like it don't you lose your head you're a talented little kid i like you as we promised you your treasure, it's yours, so take it. Can we get a piece of art! All right, nice job and all that. You can leave via the ladder behind you. Climb down in an or orderly manner, if you please. All right, you know, that's pretty much everything we wanted over here, so... There we go, another piece of art in our collection. As for the next destination, I plan to go to... Um, I'll just play this song. I guess you'll kind of know where I'm going. Uh, what was this song? There we go. What's funny is the gamepad actually shows like the songs whenever you start playing them. Uh, so we're going to go over here to Mother and Child Isle. Yes. Whee! Hello. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, what's going on? Interesting music. Tee <laughs> tell me, little boy, can you control the wind? He's so young to have such power. How did you know to find me here? I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? I like you, and so I shall give, give new power to the bow that you wield. Oh, here we go. Uh, hello? <laughs> What's going on? Oh. They're attacking me. Get out of here. The powers of fire and ice have been added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, use ZR to change arrow heads and fire away. Uh, hello? Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames. And fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child. I must tell you, you are just my type. Tee <laughs> He's like, what the heck's going on? Goodbye, and thanks for the arrows. Nice. Uh, is there anything else in here? I've never really checked. I don't think there is, but uh, basically to get out of here, you have to play the song again, but uh, fun fact, I don't think I've ever figured out like how you're supposed to go here or the story behind it. Like legit, when I first played through the game, <laughs> I was just like, hmm, <laughs> why don't I just do this? And then it just like proceeded to like give me stuff I needed. Like, I, didn't, I don't know how you figure this out. But a well, fun fact, I never do <laughs> another story behind that. Um, but there we go. Now we have fire and ice arrows, which are very important for getting key items that we need to get to the next temples little fun stuff to do there and before we do anything else we got some more windfall stuff <laughs> still to do yes more windfall stuff uh we're going to head i think it's in this building over here um we have so we did what did we do we talked earlier about to some lady about maggie being now like the richest person here so we're heading to the fanciest looking door to get to the fanciest looking building Right, right below is the auction house, if you didn't know. Um, we can go over here and talk to Maggie. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no. No, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. A sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, why, Mo? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah. This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take this letter I've just finished inking and delivering and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. We good? Maggie's letter! Give me a delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. The post box, don't you dare forget. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she so desires. All right, well, 
I'm a trustworthy postman, so I will not be uh, looking into your letters at all because it's just messed up. <laughs> so I will take it to the mailbox, though. Uh oh, you there, halt. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say boom. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Uh, yes, there was the guy who was, uh, like circling around the tree and he wanted to, like, talk to us, but now he gave us that, those creepy vibes and I didn't want to talk to him. That's the same guy. By the way, if we jump down here, 20 rupees in this chest. Whee! All right, let's head on over to the post box. And send this letter out. Hello, letter. Hello, mailbox. Go. Oh. Chunk power. This box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. You wish to send this now? Yes. Your parcel is already here. Has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. All right, so now that we got that sent. Now we got, I think we, I don't know if we, I still don't know if we have enough rubies to do the next thing I really wanted to do, but there is something else we can do here before we finish off this episode and we kind of do some more stuff in the next episode. Um, and that is if you come around back here, there's a ladder. If you climb up this ladder, it will lead you to... A really high up, but necessary button. Push this button. And basically, it activates the windmill, but unfortunately, we have to turn the winds so that they go, they blow north, I believe. I believe it's north. Yes, north wind. Should start the windmill, I think. No. I don't have to reload the area, do I? No, get over there, Link. Get over there. I believe in you. You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. We rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though. So if the wind blew in the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Whoa, that's a pretty incredible wind we've got blowing right now. But the funny thing is about the Ferris wheel is the fact that it doesn't matter how strong the breeze is, it's still a budge unless someone presses the power switch. I don't know why they didn't just make it work like regular windmill. That would have been way better. Do I, have to, do I have to push the button again? No, let's go back up there and push the button. Let me get some money real quick. Because we can never have too much money in this game. Trust me, later on we're going to need, we're going to need plenty of money. All right, let's climb up this ladder again one more time. Climb, Link. Climb. Ah, yes, we do have to push the button again. Okay, cool. I should have made the direction north first. Another windmill should start turning. Yes, there we go. And if you're curious on how you're supposed to get up there, like, naturally, you all around, like, over here. If you roll around here, there is actually a staircase over here. You climb up. And it will take you out to the uh, little balcony that was over here. And around here. Ta -da! And with this, the windmill has begun again. I can't remember if this has to be nighttime, but uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna vote it has to be nighttime. Let's turn it to night real quick. Oh, 
what the heck? No, my magic. All right, well, uh, fine night, isn't it? Oh, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a nice guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump into the gondola seats and just around the corner from here, trust me, little man, it's fun. Um, unfortunately, we need magic, so I'll meet you guys back up here after I get some magic again. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're up here again. Unfortunately, I forgot that uh, we have granny soup, so I kind of went around looking for magic and then just ended up drinking granny soup. So here we are back here again. And I believe this thing should be spinning, yes. Which means now we can attempt to shoot an arrow through this thing. Which, if you've never done this before, is a pain in the butt. But here we go. There we go. Nice, actually. Woo! Now the lighthouse works again. And with the uh, lighthouse working, the chest over there on that island begins to show up. Oops, I don't have my leaf out. That's awkward. Oh, let me go. Let me go! I'm trapped! You have anything to say? Fine night, isn't it? See that little man? The light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam fighting the glow has made me so happy, I just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Ta-da! We get a piece of heart! That's piece of heart number three. Now, when fall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything! But, with that... Uh, we have <laughs> the chest that appeared. Let's go get that chest on that island over there. Hey, yo, hold up. What's a kid like you doing out of time like this? I take a look at the heavens, too. In that case, get a better view from over here. Um, unfortunately, we're not here to look at anything. Uh, let's do the wind. The direction that Link's kind of facing right now. I think it's like this. There we go. We over to the chest we go. Yar for treasure. There we go. What's in the chest? It's a piece of heart. And with this, we get another heart container, putting us at 11 hearts. Nice. There are tons of heart pieces in, in this place, but uh, we do have one final thing to do this episode. Um, I know this is a really long episode, but there's so much to do on this island that I really want to wrap it all up in one uh, precise episode. So here we go, let's switch it back to daytime. And let's head on up here. Back to uh, the rich guy's house. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm just bugging to pass through here. Don't mind my sword. I'll go up here. Our sword is glowing right now because we drank the uh, soup. Any soup gives us that extra damage and stuff. Hello. Oh. Uh oh. Conflict. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Silence. I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Silence. Be gone, be gone. Then please, be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence. Be gone, be gone. Just acknowledge I was here. Yeah. Silence, be gone, be gone. Rock, foolish man, now you've made me angry. I cannot even look you in the face any longer, or I fear I might. I must go somewhere to cool my feathers. Well, what a wretched, unruly postman. 
I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo in any Forsaken Fortress. And yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't even know whose letters they are. They'll never reach her on my watch. Uh, I think we head to... I think we head to the tavern and I think we can meet up with the postman there. I think he's chilling. Taking a good breather, you know, a smart decision over there. I, uh... Rolling roll. All right, let's head into the tavern here. Hello, friend. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle like that over at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just never mind. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me, me to give it to her. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to accept letters from the postman. Who's heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was a most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I am a failure of this delivery trade, but... I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though... I have an idea that old fool may not permit postmen on his premises, but surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? What do you say? I'll do it. Honestly, you, young man, are a lifesaver. It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. You got Moblin's letter! I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. All right, let's get this letter out real quick. Boom, there we go. All right, then back over to the rich guy's house. Or Maggie's house, I guess we can just say. Maggie's house. She's not a poo, -poo head like her father. She just wants romance. With the moblin, but I mean, you know, everyone, everyone has their thing. No judging here. Is, is that, could it be a letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words? <laughs> Means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? It must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. From here on out today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, and it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. Ta-da! We get another piece of heart! <laughs> Treasure it always. Ah, there we go. Another piece of heart collected. But with that, I think we're going to end off today's episode here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done in Windfall Island. There's still some more stuff I need to get done, but with it comes a bunch of other tasks, so we'll probably be saving it for a bit later in the game, so we can focus on some other stuff. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I will see you guys in the next episode. And we probably go out and do some exploration with islands. I'm not going to lie. There's a ton of stuff we can still do right now. Um, and I kind of want to get some more stuff done. So I will see you guys then.